Hello, hello, Data here. Let's do a quick Moss Chops taming, passive taming. We should be able to do it with this particular feeding. He's been sitting on here for a while, and he will be ours. All right, we're going to be able to gather some resources a little bit easier. It wasn't too bad. All I did was set up a ramp. He walked up here and hung out. I think he was level 7 or 6 when he started. Now he's level 11. Might even be a she. I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's get to the raft build. Here we have rebuilt the Arctic Cruiser, made some serious changes to it, made a little more of a scout ship, not so much a carrier of any kind of large creatures. So let's start off with, we had an issue where that raptor was jumping on the floor or the ceiling that holds up these spikes, so we pushed the spikes in a little bit. We got rid of the ramp. That ramp just invited creatures to run straight up and start attacking the front door. So we have a couple spikes here now, and we have an easy access. Just hit the ladder. We have pretty much fully decked out with everything except a feeding bin, so we're not taking animals around necessarily. The Arctic Cruiser has to have a fireplace to keep the cabin warm. We have storage. We have the map, the bed, smithy, food preservation bin, the forge, mortar pestle, and a canvas for a future painting and as always we can exit quickly or if we need a, an entrance another way in I always like to use two ladders because you glitch through the first one you can grab the other one and then get in on either side and we added some glass on the top for some extra viewing and it makes the starry nights quite beautiful or we can walk over here and mount the ballista through the hatch now get a pretty good angle all the way around with a gate for safety on that hatch and we come back here we have a fishing area for when we actually get some bait for the fishing rods and we have two of these things one on either side and are they being irrigated yes they are irrigated we can just park it under here we got two of those taps running on them they are fully matured and in building the boat, the best advice I want to give you is if you're going to put Plant Species X on the boat, make that the very last thing you do. Make sure everything is 100% the way you want it with maxed out pieces and then you can add those and they overlay or take extra slots. So you can add those on without worrying about missing them. So you can have a maxed out ship at 88 pieces which is the most allowed and then put the plants into the actual crop plots and you're all set and we didn't change the structure of it too much it's still three wide and five back no foundation here because of the hatch we have space in here if we need and that's pretty much it we moved the back lowered the ceiling here so we moved it back one so it used to be slope now we only need one slope section and what we are going to do now is we've closed up shop. I believe our ballista is loaded. Let's check that out. Yes, indeed. We have 12 in there. We are... We have perceived a danger near the boatyard. So we're going to have to go over there and possibly check it out and eliminate the threat. So let's cruise on out of here. All right, we're gonna cruise up the river. We have to go to the other side of the cove by the boat docks, the shipyard. I think there's some danger roaming on the beach. We have to clear that out to make sure that we do not get attacked on our next boat build. We have two more boats that we need to build. This is our scout ship. We have the island cruiser. We need a river raft for some of the closed off river sections. I think that can take us northeast. So we're gonna build that on the other side of the island of ours. And a taming ship. Well, we might build two of those, one for water and one for land. So we have some more builds coming up in the future. We'll have to see how this goes. But first we're gonna go test out the scout ship.
All right, we are approaching the boat dock shipyard. It's on the other side of that on our left there coming up. And we're about to wreak some havoc on this cove because there's a lot of danger in there. And never mind the snakes. There's a large therinosaurus that I think it attacks on sight. Might have been cruising up the beach, so... There's the boathouse. We don't want to take that turtle out, so we're going to move a little bit more inland. Or more towards the inside of the cove. See if we can get through here. Should be able to. If we need to, we can destroy that, that boulder and get through here. Alright, we are cleared of the turtle, so it should be safe. We're going to go turn on our plants here. Set them up for... We're going to go wild creatures. And wild creatures. There, up and shooting. There's a piranha or something. Alright, we are a go. We're gonna go in here and wreak some havoc, clear out the beach, see how this goes. And it's turning into evening, so let's get this going quickly. thing we'll do is check out to see if that large dino is still on the beach. Looks like we're just shooting some piranha or something. Some fish. Alright. I actually don't see that large creature anymore. Taking out fish. Hmm. Wonder where he went. There's a snake. See it coming at us? Hit it? I don't think I hit it. I irritated it though. All right, one Titan boa down. Should be relatively safe in here now. Does it have any inventory? Are you carrying anything? Oh, some venom. We'll take that. Chop you up. Some prime meat. Find the front of the boat. Or go in the ladder side. Which is why we have two. There we go. Alright, we're going to have to work on that entrance. Alright. That'll be good for three hours in there. Not very long. All right, we got two Titan Bow of Venom. We'll stick with that. I'm not sure. There's much more action on here. A moss chops over there. It appears that the Rhinosaurus might be out of here and the snake was our only major threat that was left. Lots of piranha out here. I'm 
Yeah, let's see if it takes out that thing. Dilophosaur. And really, I don't see. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, that was very uneventful. But we got a snake out of that. That's pretty much going to do it. We're going to scope a little bit. Maybe he's up, up on the beach a little more. Looks like there's a bird up there. Right, we're looking relatively clear over here. Don't see any movement. Turn off these turrets, though. That's what we're going to do. We don't need to be creating too much more havoc. Put you to sleep. And put you to sleep. Overall, not bad. Ready for any kind of danger. Lurking up and down. We can, The front is like a pushing barrier safety barrier if it works and I see that the dinos end up not standing on those ceilings that are holding up the spikes we can switch that all to metal we're gonna make this a metal boat one day but until then we're gonna head back into the cove all right we are heading into the cove home base so far this has been a decent scout ship Kept us surviving, staying alive. That's the name of the game. Oh, look out, turtle. Oh, no. Where'd you come from? No, don't go there. Go that way. All right. Freed. Freed the turtle. No problem. Oh, no. We're going to wreck. All right. That was all right. Let's just park this thing as best we can. I think that's going to be right there get both those plants under some water straight into that fire pit not too far back and I think that's it we're decent that is our return trip home the beach is cleared and we will be able to continue our boat building do that we'll start that in the morning at some point it is nighttime we'll go get some rest home safely that'll do it we'll keep that torch lit we'll see you guys in the next video i want you to have a great day bye bye